Bir Edin hocam we are together again and uh, during the summer during the summer school studies we noticed that closely in the history education is more difficult in Bosnia because you are using three curriculums uh, Bosnian curriculum Serbian or Croatian curriculum but um, in the activities when when we follow when we follow the activities there, every teacher try to find uh, good solutions about uh, difficulties of history teaching. Uh, what will change? What will change in the history education in Bosnia in the future? What are you thinking about it? Um, as you said, there are many problems as a consequence of the war during the war, mm -hmm. division of society and so on. And yes. the political organization of the states is really problematic. We had 13 ministries, but basically speaking, it's connect, well, let's say the uh, complete list of uh, three curriculum. Let's say one is state or Bosnia. We call it but more state, but Bosnia. State-oriented curricula. And the other two are, let's say, just following the politics, previous politics, asking for more rights for Croat or Serb nation in Bosnia and Herzegovina and also the right to have separate view on the recent past of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Mm. And in that uh, sense, uh, positionally, they have right to organize education in their parts of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And they, uh, have, uh, they have had different view of the recent past. What is problematic in that sense? Uh, looking to children as Croats and such, or Bosnia, not to as children and as young people who need to live together inside of Bosnia and Herzegovina and inside of Europe and the world and let's say in good cooperation with others. In that sense, I expect that we have to, let's say, the unify our power as history teachers mm -hmm. to go with proposals to have not unique curricula, but let's say uh, the uh, oriented curricula to uh, let's say the teaching history from the perspective of human rights and, uh, and the rights of young people in the future. Yes, uh, I wonder. I wonder that in your Bosnian history education curriculum, how did you teach your national heroes to your students? Yeah. And uh, other nationalities, for example, Serbs and uh, Croatians, how evaluate your teaching methods to educate your children? In, 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 in the regions with the Bosnian majority, with Muslim majority, there, are, there, there is no, let's say, one discourse in teaching history. There are a few of them. One is liberal, let's say, the critical approach to history teaching, and another is, let's say, more national looking to, let's say, the historical figures in the past who built the Bosnian state, or let's say, the Bosnian state, and also the Islamic world, or let's yes. say, the connection with Turkey, or let's say, the, the Ottoman period of the history time, because of the, let's say, the part of identity of Bosniaks, uh, which come from, let's say, the from Turkey, and, let's say, the uh, Ottoman, Ottoman Islamic civilization. Mm -hmm. so, let's say, normally there's two main discourses, and uh, with, with others, let's say that, uh, in fact, uh, with the Serbian majority, they are, let's say, they're following the so-called the Serbian discourse in history teaching, and very similarly, and also in, in the past, with Croat majority. But what is, it, what is let's say, the interesting in, uh, in the part of Bosnia and with Croat majority? There are, let's say, for example, in Croatia, there are many discourses history teaching, liberal, central, the right wing, the wing and so on. But in, let's say that part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, they are just following, let's say, the right, right wing uh, orientation of history teaching, yeah. following, let's say, the older, previous, let's say, political idea of the so-called the more influence of Croatia, most of Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina is some, the, let's say, the specific interest of Croatia, political interest of Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yes. Um, which methods do you teach to educate your children 
in the contingent of difficult years or the wars mm -hmm. against the crimes of Bosnians. How did you You're teach? Personally or, personally or personally. in your school? Yeah. Uh, I teach at the university. Yes. I teach uh, university students. I teach history of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century. But I know how my colleagues who deal with, let's say, recent past do. It's more open, more critical. And we are trying to put, let's say, all events in the in, uh, in, in, in uh, let's say, the more generally as phenomena, mm -hmm. crime, the torture, the genocide, political events. So it's good method if we compare, uh, let's say, with other experience, not only in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but uh, let's say in wider region in Europe, in the East, in the West, and so on. And in uh, others, it's very handy speak how, let's say, other people or other uh, other colleagues work uh, throughout Bosnia and Herzegovina with, let's say, Bosnian majority and so on. Some of them are traditional, they, they use traditional methodology, just talking and listening and so on, but let's say, especially new generation, they are trying to include multi-perspective approach to history, in history teaching and also critical thinking, and also show that they, they, are, they are trying to, to, to start from this perspective of, let's say, human rights and the uh, rights of people uh, without, let's say, the, without uh, only focusing on, let's say, the national identity and so on. Yes. When you compare, when you compare your uh, history education curriculum, Bosnian curriculum, mm -hmm. with the Turkish history education curriculum, with the European countries history education mm -hmm. curriculum, uh, how do you find uh, your curriculum or uh, Turkish curriculum? And uh, do you find them as enough to educate the children mm -hmm. or to solve the, uh, to solve the all of the problems between the European countries, yeah, Balkan countries, or European countries. There is, let's say, total liberty to educate. It's up to me. Each year I can create my curriculum. Is, is it good? I'm guilty. Is it not good? It is, I'm guilty again. But let's say uh, curricula for primary schools and secondary schools are strict and they are going to let's say, educational political institutions or let's say Ministry of Education. Minister of Education, that's what I came. It means that, yeah, uh, looking to, to this kind of teaching, primary and secondary schools, they are more, let's say, maybe that there is, uh, it is too focused on the events, not to problems. And there is no enough 